Hey guys, this is your workout for March 1st, 2021. As you see, we're in the new spot. Um, this will be your first workout in here. I hope you enjoyed your deload week. You had some time off, hopefully you did some of the home workouts. Uh, hopefully you've been a little beat up over the last couple of weeks from a lot of, a lot of high intensity and volume. This time to back off. Let's see where we go now from here. We're gonna basically start doing a couple of tests this week to retest some of our heavier lifts, as well as be in the next battery of tests for the next block of training, okay? This begins today with a gymnastics test. For performance, we are working on midline uh, endurance, and for fitness, we are working on midline stability, okay? Learning how to really engage that midline fire up a little bit. So for performance, we're gonna do an EMOM of 10 every minute. We're gonna do six toes to bar. After the third minute, I want you to start adding one rep each minute until you're unable to finish it in that minute. Should still be pretty doable, okay, keep that in mind. If you fail, if you fail to finish in a minute, whatever reps you're at, you're done, go start warming up on the bar for the Metcon. Uh, Imam, uh, for fitness, we are doing a max effort hollow hold, a max effort L sit hold, a max effort hollow rock, and max effort supermans, and a little rest in between each one. Okay, keep in mind, I want to give myself at least about 30 to 15 seconds to kind of break in each minute. Okay, so we're going to be seeing this again as we go on with our training. All right, now for the Metcon today, AMRAP of 20 minutes for both groups. Uh, we're going to start by warming up, building up to a 60% of our snatch performance and 60% of our deadlift for fitness. After we get that going, guys, they have both an AMRAP of 20 performance. You will do 35 doubles. So you will do one snatch starting at 60% correction, and then you'll do 35 double unders. Every round, you will add five to 10 pounds each time, working up to a new one rep max. If you cannot do 35 double unders, 70 singles. Record your weight, that is your score. Make sure you put that in Wattify too. Same thing for fitness, AM rep 20, five deadlifts starting at 60% of your, your one rep max, 70 single unders. Keep building to a new five rep max today. Make sure you record these weights in both their respective classes. This is a long workout, guys. If you are good with your double unders or your single unders, you have a lot of opportunities here to add weight and build up. You may have anywhere from eight to 10 chances here to build and build on that weight. Um, probably the key things I'm gonna say here, it's gonna be a little taxing on the shoulders, holding in that static position, as well as punching that bar up overhead, at least for performance. Uh, with, fit, with, growth, with fitness and performance, a big key thing is to be hip extension. Keep those hips opened up. We're going to need them for both. For both our deadlift, opening up from the ground, as well as my, as well as my snatch, I need to extend the hips aggressively and getting under the bar, as well as my double unders or my singles, staying nice and tall in the stance. We don't want to be all hunched over, we want to keep that hip muted. That's going to be inefficient for all three movements, quite honestly. This can be a long one. Take your time. This is, you're not, you got plenty of time to build. Like I said, if you're really good with your double unders and your single unders, you're probably looking at about 10 attempts. That's a nice long time to work on this here. So just take your time, make sure you record your scores. I expect to see a couple of PRs. We did this in uh, on October 29th uh, of last year. Let's see if we got some new numbers, okay? I will see you guys on the gym floor. Good luck.